Hey guys, welcome to 90 plus my tuition app. Physics is a very vast subject. In fact, what we are going to study in class 11th is just a small part of it. So guys, welcome to our first chapter, Physical World. In this chapter, we are going to learn some basic laws and some basic concepts of physics. Do you know the word physics is derived from a Greek word, physica, which means nature. Do you know what is science? Science is a systematic attempt to understand a natural phenomena. The knowledge that we get from this understanding is used to predict, control and modify a natural situation. The study of physical world is called natural science and it is divided into three parts physics chemistry and biology do you know what is physics i'll tell you the definition for physics physics is the study of basic laws their interpretation and application in any natural phenomena or physical situation there are two basic thrusts of physics unification and reduction Let's see what is unification. I got a definition for you. We can apply the laws of physics equally in different conditions and situations. Let's see some examples. An apple falling from a tree or the planets revolving around the sun. These two are two different phenomena, but the basic law governing both of those are the same. That is, law of gravitation. In the same way, whenever we find a common factor to merge two entirely different things, we call it as unification. Now let's see what is reduction. To understand a bigger and complex system, the properties and interactions of the constituent parts are studied in reduction. Now let's study about the scope of physics. The scope of physics is divided into two basic parts. Macroscopic domain and microscopic domain. Let us now discuss about macroscopic domain. All things happening in the outside world, in labs and in the outer space are considered as macroscopic domains. It also includes mechanics, Electrodynamics, Thermodynamics and Optics. Do you know what is Mechanics? Let's see the definition of Mechanics. Mechanics is the study of equilibrium motion and the force experienced by a body. Mechanics also consists of sound waves and water waves. Let us now discuss about Electrodynamics. It is the study of the electrical and magnetic properties of charged particles. Scientists such as Coulomb, Oster, Ampere, Faraday and Maxwell have contributed immensely in the growth of electrodynamics. Let us now study about optics. This is our third topic. Optics is the scientific study of sight and the behavior of light. Telescope, microscope, light spectrum. All of these uses optics. Let's now move on to our last topic, thermodynamics. Let's see the definition of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics deals with the relationship of heat and other forms of energy like mechanical, electrical and chemical energy. Now let's move on to the next scope of physics that is microscopic domain. The definition of microscopic domain suggests that it is the study of interaction and forces of minute particles. It consists of atomic, molecular and nuclear things. Hence we can say the scope of physics is very vast. Let's move on to our next topic, hypothesis, axioms and models. Most of you must have heard this name for the first time. Please don't worry, I'll make sure that you understand the definition of this properly. In maths and physics, 
most of the concepts are based on assumptions. So let's define hypothesis. Hypothesis is a supposition without assuming that it is true. Let's see what is axioms. Self-evident truths can be defined as axioms. And what is model? Model is a theory proposed to explain a phenomena. Our next topic is physics, technology and society. The basic principles of physics played a major role in the development of society and technology. The 19th century industrial revolution, physics played a major role. As we all know, steam engine is based on laws of thermodynamics. Rocket propulsion is based on Newton's law of motion. Electric generator, it's based on electromagnetic induction. Optical fiber is based on laws of total internal reflection. And computers were based on digital logic. Indian scientists like J.C. Bose, C.V. Raman, M.N. Shah, S.N. Bose and S. Chandrasekhar have contributed immensely in the growth of physics. Let's move on to our next topic that is fundamental forces in nature. Fundamental forces in nature are of two types. First one is fundamental force and the second one is derived force. Fundamental force can be subcategorized into gravitational force, electrical force and magnetic force. Whereas derived force can be of two types. They are spring force and frictional force. Now we are going to discuss about the four fundamental forces. The four fundamental forces are gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force. Let us now see what is gravitational force. Let's see its definition. The force of mutual attraction between two bodies by virtue of their mass is called gravitational force. Gravitational force is a universal force, which means all objects in this universe possess gravitational force. It is a long range force. Whenever we throw an object up, it falls down. Satellites revolve our planet. It's all possible only because of gravitational force. Gravitational force also plays a major role in the birth of stars and galaxies. Let's now study about electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force is also called as Lorentz force. Let's see its definition. Lorentz force explains how both moving and stationary charged particles interact. Do you guys know why it's called electromagnetic force? It's called electromagnetic force because it contains electrical force and magnetic force. There are two types of charged particles, positively charged particles and negatively charged particles. Gravitational force is less than electromagnetic force. In fact, electromagnetic force is 10 power 36 times greater than gravitational force when considered for two protons. Our next force is strong nuclear force. We know that in a nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. Protons are positively charged particles, whereas neutrons are chargeless. In normal condition, protons and protons repel each other. And a repulsive force is created. But strong nuclear force is an attractive force that binds protons and neutrons in a nucleus. Protons and neutrons in a nucleus are binded by the strong nuclear force. Strong nuclear force is one of the strongest fundamental force. In fact, it is 100 times stronger than electromagnetic force. It is a charge independent force, which means in case of neutrons and protons, protons or protons or neutrons and neutrons, the strong nuclear force is equal on all of them. Let's move on to our final force, that is weak nuclear force. 
weak nuclear force happens only in certain nuclear processes like beta decay. Beta decay is a type of radioactive decay in which a proton is converted into a neutron and vice versa. Weak nuclear force is stronger than gravitational force but is weaker than electromagnetic force. Strong nuclear force is a short range force but weak nuclear force is the shortest range force. So till now we had discussed the four types of forces, right? I hope you must have remembered the names. So let's arrange these four type of forces on the basis of their strength. Gravitational force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force. In this, gravitational force is the weakest and strong nuclear force is the strongest. Let's move on to our next topic that is nature of physical law. Let's see what is conserved quantity. Conserved quantity can be defined as an unchanged quantity during the start and end of a process. There are six laws based on conserved quantities. They are law of conservation of mass, law of conservation of energy, law of conservation of linear momentum, law of conservation of angular momentum, law of conservation of charge, law of conservation of parity. In this, law of conservation of mass and law of conservation of energy are scalar quantities whereas the rest are vector quantities. Hence, we can conclude that conserved quantities can be both vector and scalar.